Pete Sampson with Tom Loy at Top Notre Dame Stadium following Notre Dame's 49-14 blowout of USC. It was a statement game for the college football playoff, also a statement game to the 80-plus recruits, according to Brian Kelly here. But there are some big official visitors, Tom. I guess what's sort of the buzz that you're hearing already after tonight? Well, everybody was all smiles yeah. after the game. I mean, you couldn't, you, you didn't see a straight face in the stands, especially in the recruiting section. Um, all eyes were on Amon Ra St. Brown, 24-7 Sports National Director of Recruiting, Steve Wolfong. Put a crystal ball pick in for Notre Dame at halftime. Snuck that bad boy in, but it didn't go uh, quiet on the message boards. But, yeah, I, I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty close myself. Um, you watch these two teams and you just see a lot more which I didn't expect this for the season stability for Notre Dame on the offensive side of the ball um, Sam Darnold struggled um, talked to quickly uh, St. Brown after the game and, and uh, just quickly said hello and he said how disappointed he was in, in Darnold as a, as a, as a passer um, so you know take it what take it for what it is but you know the key for USC is they have JT Daniels right. and they're you know attached to the hip um, very close so USC is still very much in this. He'll announce his decision at the Army Bowl. Um, but, yeah, Notre Dame's definitely trending up there. Um, if they can get on board with Chip Long and the play calling and see a future with Brandon Wimbush um, also playing alongside his brother for a year next year and then with Phil and Ian moving forward, it's hard to see Notre Dame not landing this guy at this point. But, you know, moving forward, I think they got a really good shot. Uh, Solomon Tulipupu, the four-star linebacker, another Army All-American um, he had a great visit, quickly said hello to his, his dad, Turnbull, and he said how much he, they all enjoyed it so far. Um, Chris Murray, a four-star lineman, another Army All-American kid. Um, all three are at Modern Day High School out on the West Coast. And this is a kid that heading into this trip, Stanford led, 100%, had the kid, had the parents. I actually think things reversed, and that's another kid I'm close to crystal balling to Notre Dame. Um, I want to hear some more about how things go on Sunday, uh, but mom, uh, high academics, uh, that's probably the biggest thing. Um, and then also being able to send her kid you know, across the country, that's probably one of the other the standpoints. But again, all three, Notre Dame is trending up for at least the kids on the West Coast. Yeah, and I mean, with Murray, it's interesting because you have to watch Quentin Nelson and think, that could be me. And the same way with Nick Petit Frere out of Florida, watch Mike McGlinchey and even, you know, Tommy Kramer and Robert Hainsey to a certain extent. Maybe Hainsey in particular, just because, wait a minute, this is a true freshman who's playing on this offensive line. That's really rare. What's sort of your, your feeling on what Notre Dame needs to do with Petit Frere? I guess I should retract my statement. Yeah. There wasn't a lot of smiling from, yeah. from Nick during yeah. the game or after the game because that's just not who he is. Yeah. He is um, he's stern faced, just very quiet, calm. Um, he's not going to, I've said this for a long time, he's not going to pick Notre Dame because they beat USC in the biggest game of the season, you know, all that stuff. But he's going to pick Notre Dame for the big picture. And I still think he picks Notre Dame because I think this visit is going to be great for him um, and his mom and, and you know, the academics. The whole blend is why I think eventually he picks Notre Dame. He could very easily stay ho close to home. He, like I said, he's very close to his mom. So distance could play a factor. If he does, expect him to end up in Florida. If he can get past that, though, I don't see any reason after watching what happened tonight in the offensive line and how dominant they were that they don't that Notre Dame doesn't eventually land both Petit Freer and potentially Murray. You know, on, on our site we had a sort of a content item on Friday about who we expected to commit, and I think most of the votes were either tight end Tommy Tremble out of Georgia was mm -hmm. here, or Paul Mawala who is lives about 15 minutes away from Notre Dame. At this point, I get the sense that you feel good about both. It, ju it just may be an order. Yeah, I think it's more of a timing thing. I think Tariq, Tariq Bracey was the right. other one that everybody really liked. And and again, we mentioned on the site, I think Tariq Bracey, it's just going to be a timing thing. Um, it's going. I think it's going to happen. It's just whether it's going to be uh, in a few weeks. Just I think there's some some off field academic hurdles that just need to be cleared up. And then Notre Dame's Notre Dame loves him, so they just mm -hmm. want him get that done. Um, Paul Moala, honestly, I'm going to be honest, I think that he could commit by Sunday. Wouldn't surprise me at all. We'll see what happens, but Notre Dame's in great shape there. Uh, Tommy Tremble, I mean, it's funny because you see a kid who absolutely loves Notre Dame, um, isn't exactly high on Georgia, especially from, you know, we, I reported a long time ago that Georgia, as he has two parents that attended Georgia, and they didn't treat um, them very well on a visit, and that left a sour taste in their mouth. So, especially a kid who's looking at academics as well. He's injured for all of his senior season. It just sets up perfectly for Notre Dame to land this kid. Him and Pauline had a quick talk after the game. I witnessed that. And um, there's there was a lot of smiles. Take everyone as well. I don't think he committed on the spot or anything, but 
there's a great relationship there. So again, another guy trending up for Notre Dame. Yeah, there's a lot of things to feel good about for Notre Dame. Not just the official visitors, underclassmen as well. We're going to have all sorts of recruiting content coming over the next, not just 24 hours after, it is already Sunday, so Paul Mala could be that's committing true. by the time you watch this. But all that's on irishillustrated.com in the days to come following Notre Dame's 49-14 blowout of USC.